Hello YouTube, um, I'd like to make a video on creating a Zen desktop environment at home. Um, I've searched myself and the only videos I've been able to find were of people that I can hardly understand and talking way too advanced um, or just on one single subject. I just want to see a simple install of uh, Zen desktop and maybe even deploy it depending on how much time I have and how fast uh, this uh, installs I'll show you all that um, but what I wanted to show you first I have a free Zen server uh, set up um, it's only a, what, a DL360 it's got 16 gigs of RAM it's got two uh, hard drives running in a uh, RAID 1 um, actually no RAID 0 no it's striped RAID 0 so it gives me a little extra space. They're not very big drives, but uh, within provisioning on Zen server side, I've been able to cram so many servers, so many client machines for all testing, and I've had PVS, uh, Zen desktop, so I have my one of my domain controllers, everything running on this box, and it runs pretty quick. Um, as you can see even you know, on the screen, I even have Windows 8 running, um, which uh, that's another subject, but I don't like it so far. But anyway, um, what I want to show you, you know, as I was saying, um, right now, this is my domain controller. I, I like to name my contro domain controllers after Silverware. But uh, I got my two uh, DDC and the PVS server running. I'm going to start right now with the DDC. Um, if you aren't very familiar with uh, Zen Server and Zen Center, um, you should. This is an awesome software, and real. I mean, the, there's the free version, but if you're a company and you want to go for the, uh, you know, the pro and you know, enterprise editions, it's not that bad for a license. I, I think it's like a thousand dollars. I mean, when it comes to a company that's you know where you have your infrastructure, it's pretty important. So I mean, it's a it, thousand dollars can really, if you're spending sixteen grand on a, a one uh, physical box. You know, but you can fit like 10 servers on it with no, you know, lag time so long as they're not, you know, heavy application servers. You know, just simple things, you know, uh, that can share a load or have peak times at one and versus another time. Then, yeah, it's an awesome uh, uh, thing to do. Anyway, to move on, um, I have my DDC and my PVS server already set up, they've been added to the domain. I've uh, statically configured, statically configured the uh, neck uh, interfaces, and I've also uh, have uh, RDP sessions uh, opened up. So I use uh, this uh, tool, Remote Desktop Manager. It's by Devolutions. I absolutely love it. Um, I have all my uh, settings for all my clients saved in it. I'd show you that, but I probably it wouldn't be wise to show all my clients. But it's, I have long list, everything set up. If I want to connect to a, a server right here, right now, I click on it. A VPN uh, program will pop up. It'll you know do its thing, and then as soon as I'm connected to the network, it'll automatic, automatically log me into a server. Everything, credentials, you know, IP addresses of machines, notes, all that's saved in there. I would highly recommend purchasing it. Um, it was like 50 bucks. Moving on. Um, this right here is going to be my DDC. All I've done so far, again, is just add to the domain, configure the network interface. I did turn off the firewall. I don't want to deal with that stuff right now. And the purpose of this whole tutorial is simply to get a virtual home environment going on. And to start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my DDC. And I want to, uh, I want to plug in a, um, a CD. Um, let's see, and I want 5.5. Five. You see I have an upgrade here, but it's not got the full install, so I'm going to go with the 5.5 five first. Um, and again, if you don't understand how Zen Server, Zen Center works, I've just now loaded a CD into my virtual machine. So I open up my RDP session. I can also look the same thing in here. This would be like essentially the, the console view, but it's a lot easier to use uh, an RDP session. So, I open up the RDP session, I open up uh, my computer, and bam, there's my CD I just loaded. So we'll launch this. 
and again this is pulling my the CD or ISO image off my desktop machine which is across the network so I'm pulling it from my machine to my virtual machine and back you know to view on my desktop it's a pretty interesting uh, setup so it might take a few minutes that's a you know two gigs of data is going to cross uh, go across the line and let's just curious as to how much throughput are we pushing hmm did I click on it oh I did okay this was popped up on the back alright so here you have Zen desktop the first uh, window that pops up when you uh, open up the CD the auto launcher I just want to install Zen desktop yes all my securities uh, except alright I want everything um, again this is for just a basic home you know to learn on uh, Zen desktop and so I'm going to be using purely uh, evaluation licensing so I'm just going to install everything that includes SQL, license server, the desktop director which you could probably uh, we could probably skip that but I'll, I'll add in there your web interface and the mo most important part the Zen desktop controller okay it tells you to open up ports on your firewall if you're using one I'm not using one so I don't have to deal with that it's going to install a bunch of uh, optionals and uh, required uh, prerequisites this might take a while alright that's everything is going to install the prereqs and the components alright um, I will get back to you once this is finished All right, looks like we're uh, finished. Uh, everything went fine. Um, I want to configure it after closing. Sure. All right, so the Desktop Studio automatically launched. All right, and here I have my choices. Um, I could do the easy thing and just do a quick deploy, um, but if you're here to learn, then this is probably what you're going to want to do. You want to click, uh, if you're starting from scratch, you can you modify this a little bit differently. If you already have a desktop uh, you know, controller already set up, you can just add another and you know it's very simple. Just point to it and it does most of the work. But being that we're starting from scratch, we'll click uh, desktop deployment. Alright, now we have the uh, desktop deployment uh, wizard popping up. So, right now, because we installed all the resources on this box, because again, this is just a training environment, um, I'm just going to use the default site. Uh, I'm going to say test lab. It's going to use the existing uh, database that we installed, otherwise, I could manually type it in here. Click next. Oh look, it doesn't have the database already. Well, that's because we haven't created it yet. Say so here, I want you to do all the work by, you know, creating the database. Alright. License server again installed on this very box. And I want to use the 30 day trial. Alright now my Zen uh, server host. This is the same host that this box is actually sitting on, this virtual machine. So I'm going to put the IP in there, and it has to be in a form of a web address too. So HTTP forward slash, and the address is 10.10.1, 10, I think it's 5. Root and my password. All right, I don't. Ha I only have one server, and I want to create. I'm going to use machine creation servers at some point, so I'm just going to say use Zen Desktop to create my virtual machines later on. I will be creating a PBS server, but if I click this in the beginning, it'll allow me to have multiple options. 
Um, I'm going to just call it Zen Server. All right, now here is where you would you would choose your uh, storage repositories. Um, me, I do not have any um, uh, NAS boxes or a SAN, anything like that set up. So I'm just going to use uh, local storage, so it's really easy for me. Uh, again, I told you about the storage that I actually have on this box. It's not that much. Um, let's just go look at it. Local storage, I only have a total of 261 gigs. With thin provisioning, though, with all the data I'm actually using, I'm only using 68 gigs. That's 25% of what is actually being used. But I've allocated 308 at this very point in time. That's going to blow up shortly. That's going to be huge once I get Zen Desktop rolling. So let's get back to here. I'm going to say local storage because I had no other options. Nothing else is uh, connected to Zen Server. So I'm just going to say local store. And I only have two NICs on that box, but only one's plugged in. Usually you want to separate the your management um, and your production, but that's for professional installations. This is, again, just test. All right, so here's all the information. No extra hosts. It's the uh, storage is on, you know, the local box where the Zen server is. The SQL box, which it's being, you know, which is installed on the same desktop controller box, DDC. Local uh, license server, same thing. All right, we're good to go. All right, so it looks like we're set up. Everything is complete. Now, the only thing I have to do is actually creates machines. Um, to save time, um, being this is only probably the third YouTube video I've created, I'm going to stop this and I'll pick up later on.